Good morning, my friends. Lama Jigme Gyatso of the Buddha Joy Meditation School. An age-old question amongst those who choose the conscious path is this. How is one to delineate between input from one's intuition or input from one's id masquerading as intuition. Well, I'm going to repeat myself. The simple, the, the, the technique used to do that is found when we take a closer look at the Tao Te Ching. In the Tao Te Ching, we're told the three treasures are compassion, simplicity, and patience. Compassion on ourselves, so we do the right thing by training in simplicity. Simplicity isn't always easy, so we have patience with the process. Which leaves, you guessed it, simplicity. What is simplicity? Is it a way of decorating? Is it a way of managing the shit in our closet? Nope, not at all. Simplicity is an unfortunate translation for centered spontaneity. There are two types of spontaneity. Well, to put it simple, we can go through life in a contrived manner or a spontaneous manner. Tao Te Ching recommends a spontaneous manner. There are two types of spontaneity. Chaotic spontaneity, like the kind you experience after a night of doing vodka shots, or spontaneous, I'm sorry, or centered spontaneity, which is the kind you get from practicing Buddha's meditation method. Buddha's meditation method is easy on the in-breath. We notice what's going on. Usually, um, the simplest way to notice what's going on is not through a cognitive analysis, but through the use of a... Um, a rhetorical question such as what noticing that's wonderful we don't put our energy into answering the question we put our energy into asking it and then just observing just noticing what we observe whether it's circumstantial or physical or emotional or intellectual just notice and on the out breath to the best of your ability relax don't try to relax your circumstances or sensations or emotions or thoughts just try to relax your body as if it was a stage for your observations that's it noticing and relaxing folks we do that for an hour every morning and an hour every evening for 100 consecutive days i assure you you will be able to see through the bullshit of our id with greater clarity, what is our id? Uh, there are some who would make a the id was a phrase, well, not really a phrase, it's a word borrowed from the Greek for self that um, Sigmund Freud associated with the drives of our brain stem. Our brain stem is all about the five apps. Whenever encountering anything, any being, or any phenomena, the, the brain stem, a simple, simple fellow, asks, hey, that thing over there. Should I fuck it? Should I feed upon it? Should I fight it? Should I flee from it? Should I fate for it? That's our id. So aggression and fear are gifts from our id. And while they may help us in a true fight or flight scenario, most of us don't go through life in true fight or flight scenarios and therefore it can often do more harm than good so it can behoove us to see the difference between the imperatives of our id and the guidance of intuition so use buddha's method it's super easy i'll be glad to send you more guided meditations but remember most guided meditation is just hypnosis. It's journeying hypnosis, and it really has nothing to do with Buddha's teachings. If you're going to use guided meditation, make sure it uses Buddha's methods to get 
Buddha's results. If you want someone else's results, then use someone else's methods. It's fairly simple. If there is um, a vegan quasi-celebrity on YouTube whose fitness results you like, emulate their diet, assuming that they're in the same age bracket as you. Because let's face it, a 20-year-old can cheat a hell of a lot more than a 50-year-old can. Likewise, if there's a businessman in the same area of business that you are in, whose results you like, model their actions to achieve results comparable or at least similar to theirs. So spiritually, if you fancy Buddha's results, then model his techniques. They are easier than you ever imagined. But you might whine. I don't want to do it an hour twice a day. Oh, goodness gracious, it'll get into my important stuff. Really? What important stuff is that? TV, Netflix, social media, podcasts, marathon masturbation? None of those things are wrong. They're just not more important than training upon the path of centered spontaneity. No one, no one has done it for an hour at tw every morning, an hour every evening for a hundred consecutive days using Buddha's techniques, using Lao Tzu's techniques, has ever regretted it. If you have specific questions, address them to me in the question area below this video. Quick reminder, the Saturday series of weekly webinars begins March 5th and you wherever I am if you live there you're welcome to attend in person if not then attend over your digital device be it laptop tablet or smartphone you can begin your registration by using the link below the video that's revealed when you click the button that reads show more may you and yours be healthy and happy good day